Hello, I'm Lost Kim, and this is Chicken Police. All right, we are back. We're talking to this owl named Bubo. Apparently, he's like this shady gangster doctor. Um, and yeah, uh, we just got off of a fireboat. <laughs> uh, barely. So we're getting our injuries treated, and I'm sure we're going to find out more information. Anyway, let's go. Um, Spit it him. out. What do you want from me? I have a busy night. Busy? I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes ago. Of course, they ran off and didn't pay. Rude. What muscle heads? Wait, let me guess. A ram and a bobcat. How did you know? Shit. What was their problem? Why did they come here? The bobcat's hand was badly burned and oh. something had sliced the ram. Slice the ram? I don't even remember that. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roosters onto an abandoned ship and then set it on fire. Hey. What have you gotten yourselves into again, you fools? Those two work for Ibn Wessler. Yeah, but we know Ibn Wessler has something to do with some spy circle for the government. Yeah, don't say. Well, in this case... <laughs> It was nice to know you, gentlemen. Rude. Don't celebrate in advance, Doc. As you can see, we're not so easy to kill. Just tell us everything you know. And give us some strong painkillers. Oh. Well, all right. Ask away. But I must warn you. If Ursula comes home and sees you here, she'll either kick you out or maul you to death. Wow. Ursula does not like us. Ursula's a bear, I guess. Okay. We can ask him questions, but he's around here. Eesh, like in the cave of the vampire bat in those horror movies. You're right. I think all of these are illegal. Or worse. Oh, Occult magic. <laughs> Demonology. Perverse desire. Unholy dealing. Oh, goodness. Would you two shut the cluck up? <laughs> they are friends. What do you think? Is this a medical illustration or the good doc's dinner? Unfortunately, the two are often Oof. one and the same. Ugh. Gross. All right. Anything else? Who's that? Who? Oh, he's my father. Really? You're what? Why are you so surprised? He gave his body to science. And what's he doing here? Who, 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 who? You're a hilarious guy. <laughs> that was a good one, Sonny. Yeah, thanks. Huh. Two infantile monkeys. <laughs> That's so creepy, though, having your dad in your house as a skeleton. Ooh, oh, bed. yuck. It's soaked with blood. Fresh blood. I was operating on someone a few minutes ago. Ooh, did they live? Totally sober, huh? More or less. More or Probably less. less. My hands tremble if I don't drink, okay? Mm -hmm. Just leave me alone. All right, let's ask him things. It's concerning, doctor. Okay. Joking aside, how are you, doc? Long time no see. Oh, you should get shot more often than you'd see me more. Hey. Yeah, right. I'm on it. <laughs> I'm still alive. Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. Ursula still bears with me, to my even greater surprise. What else can I say? You don't need anything else then, right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. And it'd be great if that ridiculous King Hector would finally resign from the throne. Jeez. So you still support the Separatists? Mm, okay. Wow, this old owl's heart is beating. But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem as long as I don't marry her. I wish I knew more about their, like, politics. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Bubo. Why, thank you. I'm guessing the royalists are, well, loyal to the king, and then the separatists don't want anything to do with him. I don't know what that... Uh, I know the king is a predator, so I'm wondering what that really has to do with it, or... I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out. What but does this tell you, Bubo? That you tore off the corner of a painting? <laughs> Not that. What do you make of it? That somewhere a painting is missing <laughs> a corner. Don't cluck with me, old man. I'm not. I'm completely serious. Then, thanks for the help. Mm. <sighs> Don't mention it. 
Love is still in the air, I see. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the prisoner of your stupidity. Easy for you to say. You can't get rid of a woman like her so easily. Why? Because she's a bear and weighs a ton? No. So mean. Because no matter how much Aww, I hate her, that's, that's kinda sweet. I still love her more than anything. Aw, touching. Hold your tongue, McChicken. That's sweet. Maybe just Ursula herself is a royalist and has nothing to do with predators, because owls are predators too, right? What do you know about Madame Zavos and her affairs? Zavos, huh? Who? That woman's probably even more dangerous than Ibn Wessler himself. Oh, great news. Is there some kind of link between them? <laughs> Ibn's contacts span the entire city. And his new girlfriend, that Natasha, worked in the brothel once. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Except for us, apparently. Oh, great. We almost died for that information. Why didn't you ask? Shush, shut up, okay? <laughs> So that ram and his partner, did they talk about something? About the plans, where they're going next? The bobcat didn't say a word, he just growled. But the huh. ram couldn't shut up, and he talks like a butler or something. He's got a very strange vocabulary, I must say. What did they say, Bubo? Get to the point. After they've done the job killing you, I guess, <laughs> they said they have to kill a rat, too. A literal rat? A rat. Figuratively. Okay. An informer. Just making sure. Someone who spilled the beans and hurt Mr. Wessler's interests. Who informed Wessler about An anything? Informer. They called him a sneaky little bastard, too, if that helps. That's gotta be Zip. The coffee guy? Of course. Zip. Damn it. Well, then that flea bag's done for. Oh, boy. Hold your horses, Marty. Zip is like a cockroach, practically immortal. Hmm. I guess. We gotta help him then. I'm afraid you're right. We still owe him one. Don't you guys owe him like 20? One? I didn't even <laughs> hear that, Bubo. So, who right. tried to get us out of the way? And Best why? Case. Let's try to figure it out. Okay. So, who tried to get us out of the way and why? That's exactly what he just said. That's okay. Who? Who? I mean, Evan, probably. Save, save us? Probably? That's it. Okay, cool. Um, I forgot how to do this. Um, Tasha's secret? No. How did that Alright, so that's it. Bad gun card. Card? No? Eh? <laughs> How did I do this last time? Oh my gosh. Okay. I know this is it. Oh, that's right. It's this the stupid yes. Okay. Um Sorry, my phone's going off. Hmm. Ignore it. Natasha's secret. Oh, maybe hers is Natasha's secret. No? Think. Use your one brain cell. There it is. So who tried to get us out of the way and why? Zavos tried to kill Evan Wessler. I don't think that's it. Zavos and Wessler were secret lovers? No. Zavos is just a goon of Evan Wessler. Um, I think they're working together. Maybe Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. At least that's what I think. Not her? Deborah? No? Okay. Uh, Natasha's secret. But why? Just okay. because Natasha used to work at that place? Hmm, I don't think that's it. Even doesn't know that Natasha worked at the brothel. I, everybody knew, so that's not right. Try to kill Natasha because she worked at the brothel. No. Who wants to hide Natasha's secret? Or was it Natasha herself? Hmm, maybe. Natasha was forced to work at the brothel by Ma Madame Zavos and Ibn Wessler. I don't think that's right. Maybe this one? Ibn Wessler wants to hide the tracks leading to Natasha's past. Or maybe 
It was Natasha herself. Okay. Hopefully I'm doing this right. We don't... I think I've only done this once, so... What does it have to do with Zip? Yeah. Why do they want to kill the raccoon? Uh, everybody found that out. So Zip knows too much about Natasha's past and what's her dealings. Maybe. Zip also worked at the brothel in the past. Not likely. Zip has something that connects Mrs. Zay boss with the Wessler and also Natasha's secret past in the court. Let's try that. Is that wrong? Okay. That was wrong. Let's try that again. Does it know something or has something that can unveil Natasha and Ibn's secret? We need to find out what it is. All right. Case closed. Funny. There's something else. Your car is here behind the building. Ursula covered it with a tarp. Didn't we walk here? What? Why? She saw it in front of the brothel. And she also saw the madam's girls trying wow. to take it apart. Furry gods. What did she do to them? Well, a couple of dames with guns are not enough to scare my dear Ursula, that's for sure. But relax. She didn't wow. tear them to pieces. Ursula's uh, pretty she cool. She just chased them off and got away with your car. You know, for once, that's wonderful news. Yeah, I wore my legs down to get here. Warmest regards to Ursula when she gets back, Doc. She may have saved our lives. He never said he was giving back the car. <sighs> of course I will. Now, cluck off, will you? <laughs> ah, you're the best, Boobo. Apparently Ursula doesn't hate us that much. I know. Will you kindly get lost? I like Bubo. He's, he's the best. All right. It's in the Do shady you keep room. the dead bodies and your stolen morphine stash here? The morphine's long gone. Aww. Oh, poor Bubo. But the dead bodies? Watch your beak, Martin. What's going on? One second. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. It's my brother and my parents. All right. Science stuff. So we can go now. Who is this? Who's next? <laughs> and they're owls. Oh my god. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me steal that. I'm out of here. Is there anywhere else we can go? Oh, really? It's a timer? So is this. The weekend house, too. Oh, there's so many places. Check out the weekend house. Maybe we'll find something. Unless we get to go to ah, all of them. Busted boss. Yeah, the boys were quite fast, I admit. Ah, what are we gonna tell them? Any chance we were just joyriding around here? Not much. That's why they're gonna believe it. <laughs> you think so? Just watch and learn, cub. Oh, look at everybody. My cup friends are here. Okay. Hey, boys. I see you're working hard. Hey, what about you? What the hell are you doing here? And we were just driving through when we saw the party. And who are you trying to feed that bullshit to? Yeah, we're not eating that, Sonny. This isn't your neighborhood. So, out with it. Why are you here? We saw right through that. Pull back the spikes. What's going on? Just fill us in, fellas. Oh. Uh Young girl, around 25 to 30 years old. Pretty? Some kind of doe or something? Impala, you moron. Aye, she was an Impala indeed, fellas. Wait, how do you know that, Marty? Marty? One of the officers mentioned it. Don't blow your top, okay? Carry on. We don't have all night. Oh, that was a fast so, lie. the girl was naked. There's no trace of predation. We don't even know how she died. It's the coroner's day off. Jeez. You only have one coroner? Huh. Another thing that only happens in Clawville, huh? Which reminds me, what are you even doing here? We're securing the area. Yeah, I can see that. I beg your pardon, Marty. I said, have a nice time doing nothing, boys. I mean, securing. Why are you so mean? All right. Hey, Bosco. Sorry, guys. Crime scene. You can come in if you want, Marty. But unfortunately, Sonny counts as a civilian. Mm. It's all right, Bosco. We understand. Anyway, I don't think whatever's in there would surprise us much. 
What? Why'd you say that? Oh, nothing, nothing. We've just heard what's going on. It's one ugly case. Yeah, she was young and full of life. At least I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm too old for this shit, you know. Well, what are you doing here anyway? I heard there wasn't any predation here. It's a simple murder case, isn't it? Yeah, it would be, but the city's too busy tonight. We simply don't have enough officers on duty to cover everything. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. So everyone's doing everything, eh? And nothing. Not what they should, anyway. That's not But true. you know, I'm not even here. I just stepped in to take a look at the case for the boss. I'm wow. already heading back to the PD. We just happen to be around here, too, so uh, we'll be on our way now. See you soon? Yeah, afraid so. All right, interesting. I mean, there's nothing the rain's about not this. gonna wash that off I'm sure no it won't not for my mind anyway yeah huh interesting all right where else can we go can we still go to the other places too let's go check this faltering Nile maybe they won't murder us on site mm, Sonny you sure <laughs> they'll welcome us here no they won't but I don't care I, I just think it's funny we're just gonna show up and be like hey I like try to this kill new us Sonny <laughs> I just wonder if they we're gonna say I wanted to see what Miss Diamond says. Hello, Miss. Gentlemen, I But don't worry, Miss. We're not here to arrest you. Though I admit the temptation is high. I I just was uh... We know, doll. You did what the madam told you to, right? Please don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault. I feel like I would do this in real life if I somehow got away from a murderer and ended up in this situation where I could rub it in their face. Like I'm alive. Hey, Marty, you're not going to propose to her, are you? Please, gentlemen, this is very embarrassing <laughs> and unpleasant for me. What do you want here? Hmm. Are you tempting fate? Do you want to die? I am tempting fate. If we wanted to die, we just had to let the ship burn. You know, the one you put us into. I had nothing to do with that. Hmm. It was Ibn Wessler's goons. Wessler's goons? Did they knock us out, too? No, that was us. The girls. <laughs> but we had no choice. I can't tell you more. Tell us this, then. Is the madam here? Yes. But I'm sure she wouldn't want to see you. You have to understand that. Yeah, I mean, it's probably best she doesn't see us anyway. We'll see about that, sweet pea. Thanks for the help. Uh, but Surprise! I... They let us come back here. It's pretty funny. You know, since the incident with the burning ship, I see these girls in a different light. They're scary. No wonder. These and demons like are capable of anything. For sure, Sonny. For sure. Hey, I didn't mean it like that, okay? Be professional. Hard as stone. You're right. Wounded, tough, stone hard cops. Oh, jeez, Marty. That's right. Just too excited about it. I have a feeling we don't fit in here. Well, we... That these furies Oops. happen to Dang set it. on fire. Exactly. So that means we deserve some premium compensation. Don't even think about it. Gross, dude. You have a girlfriend. All right. How about... <laughs> you. Maybe it's just a statue. I swear he was blinking before. <laughs> oh, here. You think this is a good idea, Sonny? We're gonna make the crocodile even more angry. Let's make the crocodile angry. Stay outside if you want, Marty. I don't care. Jeez, okay. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, this just seems boss. like I didn't say anything. <laughs> a fun thing to do. Let's see if the we get super murdered. Nigh. The dead walk among us. She's not terribly mad. Uh, greetings to you too, madam. Are you surprised to see us? I must admit I am a little. But I also must admit I'm relieved. Yes. Really? Relieved? Wasn't it you who put us on a burning ship by any chance? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Featherland. Though I can't deny my hmm. part in it either. How comforting. Look, Mr. Featherland, your investigation clashed with my business and my personal interests. Okay. I couldn't let it slide. That's all there is to it. Nothing more. You're expecting any other explanation in vain. You really are cold-blooded, aren't you? Interesting. Not my fault. I'm a crocodile. Maybe they didn't really... Well, I mean... They keep saying it's not them who tried to kill us, necessarily. But they also didn't try to stop that from happening. It has nothing to do with you being a crocodile, madam. 
Whatever you think. So, what can I help you with, gentlemen? Can you help me with anything? Can I still ask you questions? Not really, but... Before you alert your wildcat, yes? we're not here to arrest yes, you, ma'am. We're not even here to confront you with anything. Why, then? Yes. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I have an angry cat I over here. I simply want to know why. Yeah, why would the be a good one. The answer is frustratingly simple, Mr. Featherland. You'll be disappointed. You just don't like me? Try me. I have a contract with Mr. Oh. Wessler. And your investigation infringed certain terms of that contract. That's all. So they're working together. Contract, huh? Is Natasha the subject of this contract? Mm -hmm. You sold her to Eben Wessler, right? I don't think she would. That assumption is offensive. So? I'm not going to answer that, Mr. Featherland. No. I knew it. You know, sister, you could be a famous crocodile. You're still just a snake. And I hope snakes will forgive me that I mentioned them in the same sentence as you. I'm truly sorry you feel that way, detective. Maybe one day your opinion will change. Interesting. Alright, anything else? I don't think so. I mean, there's nothing much. So, we're gonna go. See ya! Next place we can go. To the weekend house. There's so many places. Jeez. Let's go to the newsstand. Why not? Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our gull friend in the flesh. Can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest mm -hmm. to flies highest, Marty. Yeah, that guy's never given up. That's clucking sure. Hey, buddy. Hi, Timothy. Hey there, Timster. Long time no see. Hey, boys. What a lovely surprise. Do you also have a deja vu, Sonny? It's like all of this had already happened, isn't it? It has. Yeah, now that you mention it. I, I wasn't following you, boys. I swear. Mm -hmm. We never said you were, Timbo. But what exactly are you doing here? It's a little Jeez. far away um. from Roachtown. Uh, okay, okay, I confess. I was following you. But I simply had to know what this is all about and how it's going to end. It's my job, after all. But you have to understand, pals. We're not your pals, Tim. And I'm telling you for the last time, get the clock off our backs, or it's going to end up a lot different for you than you think. Oh. Oh. Sorry, he's tired. Yeah, he is following us, so he knows exactly what ah, we're doing. That's harsh. Even from you, Sonny. Did something happen? Did you get dragged into something personal? And on New Year's Eve again? Yeah, I mean, what's the chance of that? Bloody New Year's is back? Uh, is there a connection Ooh. between the two? Uh, uh, what happens if it reappears again? Hopefully not. Make him stop, Marty, or I'm gonna twist his beak off. Hey, uh, okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, my beak is sealed, and mm. uh, I'm gonna keep it low. Very good. You're not so stupid after all, Tim. You must have been just pretending. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, Sonny. <laughs> that's not murder, Seagull. All right. Hey. Ho oh, ho! Is that the chicken, please? Hello, Hercule. Good to see you here. <laughs> I'm always here, lads. The sun shines, the rain falls, and Hercule Mullins sells newspapers. We've never been here, right? Just like that, Martin. Uh, listen, uh, Hercule. Wait, 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 Sonny boy. Let me guess. Maybe, um, I oh, don't know. Ah, I got it. You need some information. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> you guessed, Uncle. How did you do that? Years of practice, sonny boy. <laughs> now, tell me, lads, what's the matter? This guy's so friendly. We're just sniffing around a bit, Uncle Mullen. You know us. You just can't sit still in your asses, can you? <laughs> it's all right. So, tell me, what would you like to know? Uncle Mullen helps where he can. That's cool. Thanks, old pal. Yeah, what can we ask you about? There's so much. Okay. Let's start. Well, we don't care about Bubo necessarily. Let's start with the big hitters. Eben's a ruthless gangster, that's for sure. But he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way. And that's mm. not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. It's not good. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What? <laughs> of course they tried. 
They wanted to oh. buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one pug, came here and threatened me more than once. Wow. If I hadn't dug me heels in, the others would have sold up. The lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. But I told them, over my cold dead carcass. That's crazy. Well, looks like it worked. <laughs> I'm too much for them, lads. <laughs> or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I'm a poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. This place has always belonged to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So, he usually listens to reason. Nice. Yeah, when I talked to him tonight, he seemed confused, dissolute, and impetuous to me. That's uncharacteristic. Are you sure it was him? Are you joking? Ibn Wessler's not usually confused with anyone else. Of course I'm joking. Beaver humor, you know? <laughs> Nobody gets it. Not even the beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Good one again. Nice guy. Nice guy. Um, Madame Zavos? Listen, Mercule, what do you know about Madame Zavos? Why do I have the feeling you're not interested in her girls? Nope. <laughs> because you know us, Uncle. I hope you didn't mess with her. Oh, well, we messed the with her. The old Cayman has a rather bad reputation, to put it mildly. <clears throat> Crocodile. But you're right. We shouldn't have messed with the old gal. She set fire to a ship with us in it. <laughs> Boys, I've heard she loves drama, but that is a whole other level. Yeah, right. We barely got out alive. What else should I tell you about her then? Maybe try not to angle her, <laughs> if that's possible. <laughs> Too late. Thanks. Good advice. <laughs> I see everything's like it used to be. <laughs> yeah, if only my back was the same. Huh, you're telling me. All right. Well, Phil Marlowe. We managed to run into Philmar too. Good old Phil, huh? I've heard he's not been doing so well of late. Oh, it's he not didn't good. look so good. Sorry that's if you're for hearing sure. wires. My cats are kind of messing with them, which is no fun. At the age of the private eye is over, lads. Now animals either sue each other or turn to the local crime lords. Oh. Only jealous or betrayed housewives remain for private detectives. Phil would never admit to that. He's too much of a romantic. Are we still talking about Philmar? <laughs> All right. What a night we're having. We even ran into Bubo. And you're still alive? <laughs> Give praise to the great wild ones, lads. <laughs> His reputation's bad, too. We do. What's going on with the old owl? He didn't tell us much about himself. I hear the old owl's doing quite all right, since more and more cops step outside the line and more and more gangsters shoot themselves in the foot. Ooh. Busy days, huh? Ah, uh, something's coming, lads. It's in the air, and I can feel it in me beaver bones, too. Clawville's boiling. It's not good. Yeah, we feel it as well, Uncle Mullen. All right. What the hell is Tim doing here? Uh, you're still angry at him, then. He's not really a bad fowler, and he simply idolizes you. Be gentle with him. He's gonna get himself into trouble, though. It's not adoration. It's an obsession. And I can't bear obsessive people. Then how exactly can you bear Martin? <laughs> hey, old man. The exception that proves the rule, right? If I'm obsessed, then what are you, boss bird? No, oh, that's different. I have no other choice but to be with myself. <laughs> That's sad. The toughest prison on the planet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Get a room, you two. I like when they're bantering. It's nice. Okay, well, that was cool, I guess. Not much. We at least got a new, like, character. Some new codex stuff going on. No people, new things. Okay. Let's move on. I don't want to miss any of these. So we went to the sweltering Nile. 
Second house. Go back to the Czar Club and well, see what happens. Looks like the party's over. Yeah, it looks like it. And just hmm. when I was starting to get into the mood. Because of the fire ship? Damn it. I thought I was gonna see you shake a tail feather tonight, boss. <laughs> yeah, let's not go that far. No dancing. Hey Lewis. Hey Lewis. Here again? I just left something here, Sonny, but nothing important. Are you sure everything's all right, Lewis? You mm. seem, uh, distracted. Suspicious. I'm fine, S -S Sonny. Don't you worry about me. What are you doing here anyway? You look quite b b battered Now we got both hot <laughs> and cold tonight, literally and at the same time. But we're alive, and we're hoping maybe we can find Natasha here. I'm so th sorry, Sonny. I haven't seen her since her p performance. Well, thanks. Uh, keep your eyes open, all right? In my e ears. Of course. He's too nice to us. I just suspect it all. Hi, Mort. I could already smell you, boys. Ah, hello, Morty. What's up? Are you lost, old lizard? Me? <laughs> lost? <laughs> No way. If I'm not mistaken, your rickety little shack isn't this way, Morty. It's uh, miles away from here. Don't you worry about me, you overgrown eggs. <laughs> I know where the road's taking me. Jeffy uh, threw you out again, huh? Don't you worry about that either, pal. Seems to be having a rough <laughs> time. That little bastard. All right, listen, Mort. I'll talk to Lewis for you, okay? Luckily, he's right here. Don't bother because of me, sonny boy. It's nothing. I can walk. Aww. No worries. I just want your legend to live on, lizard wizard. He's the lizard wizard? Listen, uh, Lewis, uh, I need uh, Another favor? Uh, a favor. Sonny, you know, for you, anything, my friend. Five times a day, even. I mean, I think we are at five. Okay, okay, I deserve that. <laughs> so, he counted. I assist you again. Yeah, seriously, he's getting tired of me. You know old Morty, right? Uh, uh yes, I, I know him. <clears throat> Indeed. I know he's not a saint, and he doesn't smell like flowers. His manners are disgraceful. And he drinks a lot. He's friends with weirdos. And he's in and out of jail. Jeez. So we know he's not an easy character. But he has nowhere to go. And he is an old friend. Or something like that. Acquaintance? So, he needs a room, right? You guessed it, pal. Well, no problem, t t gentlemen. I can handle that. I feel like we're abusing Lewis's kindness Thanks, a little bit. Thanks, Lewis. Again. I don't know how many times. Much obliged. Don't mention it. One day I'm gonna ask you for a favor in return. I wonder what the favor's gonna be, and if we're ever gonna get to it Anything, in this game. Anything, long ears. Ugh. A feeling. We did something terrible. Hello, ladies. Not even what happened to us at the brothel and on the burning <laughs> ship discouraged you, huh? <laughs> Seriously. On the contrary, Sonny. I haven't felt this much alive in a long, long time. Jeez, All Marty. right. You have five minutes. Then we're leaving. Thanks, Dad. But I'm not <laughs> going to talk to them. You know me. I only conquer from afar and only in my mind ever since Laura turned my head and my world upside down. Aww. What a lucky woman, eh? That's kind of sweet. I'm the lucky one. That's for sure. Aww. Talks about her so highly. Okay. Is that it? Really? Okay, we're we're off. Let's let's keep going. To the hop dog. Damn, we're late. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I don't see him anywhere. But that jerk's here. Yeah. The famous scribbler Tim Again, in Tim? the flesh. He must have seen something. And because he's here, he must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, let me be the bad cop, boss bird. Permission granted. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hey, Timbo, my old pal. Hey, well, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. Hmm. You're not scared to see us, are you? Oh, yes, he is. Who? Me? <laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working, especially together like this is the legendary chicken police. Uh, he is, like, scared. What the hell's going on here, Tim? That's exactly what I was thinking. You see, what the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange. 
Indeed. Hmm. I just want to point out the guitar in the back. It's awesome. It's like changing a little bit as we go. Where's it, Timbo? Keen observation, boys. Because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let me guess. A ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. Oh, boy. Well, uh, you could say that if it happened, but it didn't. Really? Then what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Come on, Timothy. Start talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. <laughs> Shut your beak, Monty. Hey, hey, quit playing tough, will ya? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Mostly? Stop babbling. Just answer the question. Yeah, seriously, what the... So, what about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone mm -hmm. by the time I got here. Is that right? Why are you still sniffing around? Uh, I was uh, trying to make that fellow talk over there. What, the old fly guy? You speak insect? What if I do? I'm educated, you know? Hmm. Ah, right, Tim. My patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that seabird. Okay, <laughs> okay, back off. We're They're not friends, friends, aren't we? No, 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 no. Exactly. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. Jeez. Ouch. Oh, oh my gosh. Never work out and then stream. Okay. Zavos? What do you know about Madame Zavos, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? I only know what everybody does. She's rich, mm -hmm. she owns a brothel, mm -hmm. allegedly she used to be a spy, and mm -hmm. she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? All true. Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... She is a spy. Yes. A little bird told me she's been entertaining quite yeah. a lot of foreign guests recently. I mean, real high-quality VIP guests. Who? From where? Well, I don't know. But, allegedly, she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, and even Nautica. Basically from everywhere that matters. And? Why? Well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a wide berth. Those wild girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust me. Oh, yeah, we know. Yeah, we've noticed. <laughs> All right, anything else? The ship? Have you seen anything weird around the river? You mean the smoke and burning ship? Yeah, that's us. Exactly. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> what? Can we interrogate you then? I don't think we have any more things we can ask. Timbo's a We can bag, question. So it's not hard to draw <laughs> the truth from bag. him. Wow. Straight out. It's not hard. Okay. So we're just gonna ask him straight away, I guess? <laughs> the impression is douchebag. So what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. Found the whole the town's stand. talking about you. Really? I'm swelling with pride. Everybody's whispering about the chicken police oh. being back together again. And that you've already turned the whole city upside down. Great news. Mm. What else do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha hey. and trashed Madame Zavas's brothel. Hard stuff. Neither of those are true. Really? I'm not surprised. Oh, and the best! You set fire <laughs> to a ship, too. No, that was Ibn yeah. Wessler. Ah, and one more thing. A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Wait, what? No. Is that so? And you believe all that? I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. At least that's truthful. Yeah, right. Um, douchebag and watchful. Why were you looking for us here of all places? Have you seen anyone sniffing around here? He's watchful. Have you seen anyone sniffing around here? Two cops came for Zip. Oh. They came and went, uh, taking Zip with them, obviously. Oh, so it was cops. Didn't do much else. They weren't looking for anything. And what's strange is that Zip went with them voluntarily. That is weird. How do you know that? Uh, I know Zip, and so do you boys. If he didn't want to go, he wouldn't have made it so easy for them. Ain't it the truth? Sure is. Minus 20. Oh no, I'm doing so awful. Um 
What did you Why tell did them? you tell them? Me? To the coppers? <laughs> Those guys avoid me even more than you do, Sonny. That was a bad choice, right. too. I can understand that. What can I say? Occupational hazard. We're gonna have to redo this. Oh, God. What happened, what to, happened Zip? to Zip, Tim? Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny, you know? And uh, I have this personal charm. Do you? Yeah, right, the uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. Mm -hmm. I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute Weird. gibberish. He must have said something, since you're such great friends. Well, he just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. The police? Really? I can guess where he meant. I didn't have a clue. Hmm. Anyway, after he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. <laughs> Thank you. Zip, you clever son of a bitch. Why? Who? What is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. Mm -hmm. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. Timbo loves to brag. Okay. And it's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we ruthlessly exploit that. Okay, it went back up by 15. Um, it's best if we ruthlessly exploit that. Working on a new front page article. Heard any juicy gossip today, Tim? Heard any juicy gossip today, Tim, my friend? Natasha performed your new song tonight. It was a blast, I heard. And a poor little Bambi died. Oh. Oh, and a ship was seen burning and sinking on the times. But you already know that. Not only know it, we even felt it. But it could fill a full issue of the Clawville <laughs> Chronicle. Isn't that enough? Should I ask the front page thing? It's more than enough, Tim, old pal. Oh, plus five. I guess it was so bad. Timster, you're so well informed. Tell me about meeting Zavos. Who told you we're working together? How do you get rid of the cops? Um, uh, he's a fan. Braggart and a fan. So let's go with the braggart. You're way. so well informed, Timster. Mm. Tell me about Madame Zavos. Well, they say she's kind of angry Did because trash someone it? trashed her brothel. Oh, and that someone mm. was allegedly you and Marty. No. Yeah, you already told us. Good story. Anything else? With a little more truth in it. Allegedly, Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. Oh. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that came here, too. Gee, that may even be true. Okay. Timbo, you pay attention mm. to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat, in fact. Didn't he say that Zip was gone and he didn't see anything suspicious at first? But you just told us it wasn't them. Ah. W wasn't them what? I didn't say they took Zip because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad, Tim. He's playing with We're words. really not in the mood for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Tiny Tim is a true fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. Nice. Okay. Who they were with us. So gonna, hey, your old pal. Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Let's do Help that. Help your old pals, Tim. Do me what a favor. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Sonny Honey. Yes. Of course not, Tim Tim. We're old pals. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without an ulterior motive. But you know what? I don't care. Oh, good. Feels good anyway. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. So, Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything, and throwing things away. That's weird. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call. Because soon after that, the coppers arrived. He called the cops on himself. And in between? Well, I didn't see him in between. Why didn't you go inside? 
He's your friend, isn't he? Well, I tried, Sonny. The door was closed. I, I knocked, even yelled. Hmm. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good for you, Sonny. I feel like he was just like, good for you. <laughs> Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Well, you tell me. You're good old friends, aren't you? Mm. Well, that's right, Sonny, but Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way... Yeah, what was he hiding, huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me. That's more like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. All right. What and where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never going to talk to me again. Just tell me what he was hiding. Tim, unless we find Zip, he's not going to talk to anyone ever again. Hmm? Not in this life, at least. Yes, help us. Did I do okay? Oh, 60. Should I try again? Ooh, let's retry. Let's retry. Jimbo's a dude. Okay. So what the? Oh, really? We're gonna skip uh, through. Every but great new that you really. Oh, yeah. Uh, we saw this. Is that? I'm a yeah. Um, crap! I forgot what I picked the first time. I think this one, right? And why were you looking for us? You of so it was a lucky oh. guess. This is new. Uh, something like that. And I'm wasting time here often anyway, so I had nothing to lose. And here we are. Good, going the right way. So you aren't following us by chance. Out with it, Tim. Who squawked? So you weren't following us by any chance. Guys! What exactly do you take me for? Somebody who follows me. Let's not me. get into that, Timbo. So? I wasn't following you at all. This place was my first guess, okay? Or I just wanted to <laughs> have a good cup of coffee. I mean, who knows? Okay. What happened to Zip? Going Tim? a little better. Okay. When I arrived here, the hot dog was already closed. Okay, yeah. So we saw this part. Okay, okay. He must have. He really? I. Zip. You. Why? You just keep Timbo loves. He likes to brag. Doing much better. Um. This one gave us some. He likes to brag. So Working let's try on the a front, new page. front page article, eh? Well, if a specific celebrity couple's willing mm -hmm. to give me an interview, then uh, maybe I am. Don't even dream about it, Timby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a fan. Okay. So we can ask who were they. Who told you we were working together Hopefully again? Hopefully that's the right choice. Ah, uh, you're one cunning bastard, Sonny. You already asked that, only a little differently, eh? Was I that transparent? See-through, pal. But hey, no hard feelings. I use the same technique all the time. Dang it! <laughs> Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Thing. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, but okay, we saw this. Don't hey, I Okay, okay, okay. So, and I think... We can go with the old pals oh, thing. Uh, of course, I'm sure. I'm glad. Zip and it, well, I, why didn't... Well, I try... I think good for okay. you, son. We already know. Zip was... Uh, oh, you tell... Well, that's right. She was hiding well, something and what? acting crazy. I don't know. Tim. Is that better? 90! Woo! Much better. Okay, let's continue then. Thanks, friend. Hey, old pal. Could you help us? Does he understand us? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen where the raccoon went? The one who owns the joint? He's gonna talk to us eventually. Nothing. Dang. Morning. We don't serve bugs here yet. Should just take that off. Um. Okay, what else can we do? We asked all the questions. Hey, Timbo. 
What about the old fly? Yeah, maybe he did, but he's not talking. He didn't even speak when the coppers were asking him. Jeez. And not even when one of them kicked him and the other spat on him. <laughs> Tough fella indeed. Poor guy. Those fuckers. The fly was silent, no matter what. After they left, he just picked up his guitar and started strumming like nothing happened. Hope he's okay. Poor bastard. If I only knew who they were, then what? What'll you do? Yeah. Beat them and spit on them? Like they did with this fella? I mean, maybe. They deserve it. Well, that's one thing, Marty, but things don't work that way. Oh, That's kind of sad. What else can we do here? There's an old car. There's a hive, the city. They say an animal's just like his car. Does that mean I'm old and rusty? Well, you said it. <laughs> what about you? You don't even have a license. That's just it. I'm special. And fresh like a spring chicken. Oh, goodness. No, like a moron. <laughs> okay. Are you sure that thing's a dog? I always wondered. I'm clicking on everything because they didn't really tell us where to go. I'm assuming the police station, but we've fallen for that trap before. The name Hop Dog the is purse. quite a giveaway. Don't you think so, Mr. Detective? Sometimes the most natural <laughs> connections lead us astray. Who said that? That was pretty good. A natural born genius. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright. I wish he would talk to us. Is there anything else? It's closed. Warning. Timothy, this fly guy's not saying anything. Anything else? We got two more places at least. Um, almost got all our people. It's telling something of the hop dog, but it's already too late, right? Is there anything else I can click on that I'm not seeing? This it's not possible we to get the all before. the way out. What? So you also stay a cop even after retirement every cop stays a cop oh. it burns itself into you that's good to know so am i gonna stay a cop forever not you marty sorry marty well that's that oh when all of this is over you owe me a foot massage <laughs> Like a 912 Van Dillon. For a car put that. together by monkeys, it was a good one in its time. Hey, monkeys have seriously pushed forward in car manufacturing, Sonny. Cars from the Tongoko Peninsula are the best. Ah, sheep shit. Clawville's the best car producer. Yeah, 30 years ago. <laughs> All right. Anything else we can click on? Oh, Look I can go into the door. Mess. See? Looks like he was in a real hurry. Or was trying to erase his tracks. Because he was trying to hide something. But, but where? And most of all, what? Let's take a good look around. Let's go. Let's see. Um, doodles? Where are all the... Good question, pal. Where all the colors go? The king? Huh. What inside? Okay. Neat. Cold Ugh, coffee? I wouldn't dare touch that. Okay, then. Well, let's see the jukebox. Anything in the jukebox? Can't really play anything. Uh, clicking everywhere. Okay. Nothing there. Cold coffee. Menu. Marty already looked through it. Nothing huh. interesting. Okay. Poster? When we get over this whole mess, I'm gonna take you to a concert. No, you won't. Yes, <laughs> I will. Swear. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You'll see. Just wait. Okay. So nothing there either. I wanna find out what's... Lights. Okay. Marty? Greetings, pal. What can I get you? <laughs> what are you doing, Marty? A nice hot cup of coffee? Maybe some toast? Ooh, Ooh strawberry, strawberry jam, jam pancake. Strawberry jam pancake is divine. You must have hit your head pretty bad. Yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo oh, milkshake with extra milkshake. vanilla and millet powder coming right up. Ah, oh, furry gods, help me. Please don't have a nervous <laughs> breakdown, okay? 
Okay, let's see. There has to be something else I'm missing here. So the doodles. Not the doodles. Can I click on anything else in this? This is the only thing that's new. Coffee. I mean, there's a menu, but... Ooh, maybe a peanut souffle with faux meat. Oh, stop it, Marty, before I... Ugh, you're just a boring old man. I'd rather be boring than dead. True, so nothing's here either. Ah! Must be something else I can click on. It's just a mess. Nothing in there. At least I go back and back in. Doesn't really look like there's anything. What am I missing? Is it the jukebox? Is it the jukebox? Shady figures at Coconut Cauldron, Killer Angels. I'm just clicking on everything. Oh! Look at hey, this. Hey! Found it! I'm looking, but what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. No missing persons this time. Where do we find him? Well, Timbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The Parliament. No, Marty, but <laughs> close. And no way. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip yeah. is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple? And that wild? Well, the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Westler's henchmen. Timbo was right. Don't tell Timbo. Doesn't he know half the police is in Westler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. At least other police officers saw him. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So? To the PD then? To the PD? Well, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. Let's go! What did I pick up? This? Why did you keep that wristband? Uh, I don't know what I picked up though. Okay. Well. To the PD, I say. Well, let me get out of here first. I can't leave. Have you found what you were looking for? No. No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. <laughs> ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Brute. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want and get away with it. Scary. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. <laughs> he feels like he's gonna get annoying. Um, I just hope he doesn't say anything weird. Are these from all the same places that I've been to before? I guess so. I didn't have to do all of them at once. Um, it's okay, let's go. Clawville! BD. Oh! Clucking furry hell! So they know we're still alive? And they'd like to do something about it. I mean, whoa. I can shoot! Can I reload? Ah. Oh. Don't shoot them, bird brain. Shoot the car. Hey! Fine. I don't know how to read. Oh. Trying to shoot the car. Die. Dang. <laughs> okay, 
We've got this. Terrible shot. <laughs> we could only hope we'd arrived in time. If they'd taken Zip to the interrogation room, the hole as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. Mm. It was time to be fast and ruthless. All right. God damn it, Zip. Why couldn't you stay out of this? Ah, look who's here. The top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Good question. Wonders of the world, Marty. All right, so we're going to end it here. It's been about an hour, but I'll be back next week for more Chicken Police. Bye for now.